Welcome back, guys. My name is Dimitri Sebastian. And I'm Wes Kendall. And we are back in session where your fitness and lifestyle questions are answered and bro science is put to the test. Today, we're going to be talking about what you bring to the gym. And there's some opinions I have mm -hmm. on this. Yes. Because I think you and I have a very different way of handling things. True. So we're going to go through what's in your gym bag and what's in mine. Hey, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and hit the bell, please. Yes. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. Yes. And bring you, your gym bag. <laughs> you, already, you already found it. So as you can tell right now, Demetri doesn't show up very prepared to most things. So after you've liked and subscribed, now we're going to look yes. into our gym bags. Mm -hmm. And we'll go through yours right now. What do you need to bring to the gym? Well, I mean, what you need, obviously, is just a good attitude and, you know, showing up ready to work. But and the willingness to, to take it all the way. To the balls to the wall, tearing your pack on a lift. Right? What's that guy's name, by the way? I don't, I don't. He's some UK bodybuilder, but the guy that did the video was Larry Wheels. He's like a famous powerlifter. So if you are not aware, Larry Wheels, I don't find him entertaining at all. I don't yeah. like most of his jokes. I think they're weird. Yeah. Uh, he was out there with this bodybuilder from the UK, and mm -hmm. he was doing an incline bench. Straight bar. With about, it was like four plates. 495. On it was 495. 495 on there. Five plates. And it was a tough move. It wasn't yeah. working out very well. Uh, and if you watch the video, and I actually recommend you don't. <laughs> you only need to see it once. <laughs> you only need to see it once. He ends up popping his pec. Like you see every fiber just kind of do that nice snap. Yeah. And it all goes right to his sternum. Yes. And it is one of the most painful things I've ever seen. And uh, it tells you a little something about maybe one rep maxes aren't necessary. <laughs> yeah. Well, not unless that's what you train for. Oh, which I don't think he does. Right. He's that a was bodybuilder, the thing. not a power lift. Well, that, I mean, he is a power lift. He's clearly very, very strong. But, like, he is uh, a he's big boy. He's bodybuilding to... focused, though. That was the big thing is everyone was, like, hating on him for, like, why would you try and one rep max when all you do is sets of 8 to 12? My question is, is that career ending? Uh, very potentially. Because I hear about people popping biceps fairly frequently, and it sounds like you can usually come back from that. Maybe not like Maybe. to where you were, but it sounds like people come back from stuff like that. Do we have word on who it is? His name is Ryan Crowley. Guess how old he is. Ryan Crowley, how old is he? How old do you think he is? I'm going to guess 28. Uh, 32. He is 23 years what? old. What? Wow. What? He's so young. This guy looks like shit for his no. age. I'm just going to go ahead and say, he looks, I mean, let me be clear. His physique is incredible. I thought he was like 30. He looks old as dirt. Yeah, I like thought his he was like skin, like I don't know if he tans like a lot or something, but he looks like I don't know. You, well, I don't know. I'm not going to accuse him of putting any additional substances into his bloodstream. He just put some extra seasoning on his chicken, a little extra creatine, and that makes him a little stronger. Yeah, but yeah, he looks way like 23. Wow, never would have guessed that. That would have never guessed that. So yeah, people come back from like small pops. And they, they make a comeback. Uh, Matt Best, the guy from the Black Rifle Company, the uh, coffee and stuff. Yeah. Sounds like he's making a good comeback from an injury like that. Mm -hmm. But like your whole pack, like I think your bench game is just over. Yeah. And what's scary is like, I think as a power lifter, people will tear their biceps all the time mm -hmm. because it's like part of being a strong deadlifter almost. Yeah. Uh, but a pec tear, especially one that bad when it's coming off of the bone, most of the time it's just a partial tear where it's like it the muscle is still attached, but no, you literally see it come from his shoulder to like off to the middle of his chest. And if you see the uh, him get wheeled into the hospital, there's a picture of the bruise. It's so you're going to get bruising across the entire thing no matter what with time, but yeah. right as he got into the hospital, it's purple from here down to here. Oh, yeah. So we're talking like full tear. Full tear. You can see it. It's it's very yeah. disturbing. He uh, he might be switching to more of a lifestyle YouTuber at this point. That's yeah. uh, That kind of sounds like that might be a game over. Imagine that. 23 years old and it's like you haven't even reached your peak yet because yeah. you don't reach your peak till 28 to 30 whatever. But it's like it's already done. I, I'm going to go ahead and put good energy into the world mm -hmm. and say that he's going to come back from this because 23 is very young surprisingly resilient the human body is yeah and i hope that he has like the ability the funding the uh network that is able to help him get back to a healthy place well he's gonna need the network because he doesn't have the health insurance <laughs> apparently we already figured that out go ahead of his go fund yeah. me <laughs> he's gotta go fund me hitting him up <laughs> wow america <laughs> yeah yeah dude that sucks that sucks i really hope yeah I, I mean i think there's a possibility that he makes a comeback it's gonna take a long time and uh it sounds like this is the way he makes his money so yeah. he has all the incentive in the world to make the comeback mm -hmm. uh that's fucking 
rough. Yeah. So either watch the video or don't watch it. You know, either way. <laughs> you, you've heard all you need to yeah. know. There's no secrets here. It's just a brutal pop, and it's uh, it's tough to see. Honestly, that was worse to watch than the Callum Monvoger uh, video of him tearing his bicep. Yeah. That Biceps was, are gross, but it's like, at that, least it's yeah. a smaller area. I don't like watching injury videos, period, but that one, I've had three separate people hit me up to say, bro, have you seen this? And I'm like, yeah. do not send this to me. <laughs> I know what I need to know. I yeah. don't need to see it again. I see it when I close my eyes. I don't need to watch it anymore. <laughs> yeah. So what you're going to bring in your gym bag is yeah. something to prevent. <laughs> yeah. So exactly. we're, we're, we're going to talk about how to uh, hopefully not do that. And that's by having friends that can tell when you're dying and also friends that can tell you that maybe this one one rep max is not the best idea. Yeah. We should um, just make a whole podcast. A whole a whole podcast about like, is that, no, you can just send it into us. Like, is this number too high? And we'll just say yes or no. Yeah. And the answer is, if you have to ask, it's probably too high. Probably. Yes. <laughs> so let's go and start at the at the top of the bag so you actually show up with like a proper duffel bag every time but you also work at the gym yeah so you have like purposes of being there but uh there's people who come to the gym and it's always funny new people show up to the gym they're like oh are these lockers just day lockers or the overnight ones it's like first of all this is a private gym and there's like 20 lockers here of course they're not overnight yeah exactly <laughs> but what what are you bringing when you roll into the gym well, I have some like I have some mandatories that I feel like I need, especially because the way that my coach has me lift, I absolutely have to, you know, have my wrist straps to be able to do a lot of slow negatives and slow, uh, you know, pauses and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. it's like grip is definitely an issue. So for me, straps definitely on my list of being in the gym bag. My um, grip has gone to shit recently. I don't know what it was. I was uh, doing deadlifts mm -hmm. the other day, and I was just like, "What happened? Why have these baby hands?" But I still refuse to use the straps. I'm, I've yeah. officially decided I'm just coming back. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make a comeback on the grip strength. Well, if you're doing sets of 15, your grip will literally never catch up to your strength. I choose not to agree. Okay. I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but I choose not to agree. I just, you know what it is? I, you are a good example of a yeah. strap user because you are the one who's just like, you're sweating, you're having a bad day. And then you go jog off to go get the straps. Yeah, I don't pull it out till the very end when I need it. I feel like if you don't look like you've been through a war zone <laughs> and the straps are already out, you're shortchanging yourself. So, like, if you just walk in the gym and throw your straps on, then yeah. it's like... What if, like, I got attacked by, like, a, a coyote? They're yeah. roaming packs of coyotes, and I don't have the grip strength to strangle every single one of them. <laughs> 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 Well, I hope you have the kicks then because uh, you're going to need some. Uh, we already quad know band that kicks. you have the kicks too. Yeah. I clearly don't. My squat has not improved very much. <laughs> next thing on your list. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Next one. For me, it's a belt. Um, I know we've discussed belts a, a bunch of times, but, mm -hmm. you know, again, just like the straps, I don't use it until the end, the last set, you know. Yeah. Yeah, very end. I think that the belt is the best thing to bring even when you don't need it mm -hmm. uh, because. I've had this discussion about, like, I think that you should only put a belt on at a certain point in your squat workout or your deadlift because then you're shortchanging yourself on a core workout. Yeah. However, I had a really uh, specific situation where I was doing overhead press, mm -hmm. and I was realizing it was at the end of my workout, and for whatever reason, my core was a little compromised by that point. Yeah. And I could not do the weight I wanted to with my overhead press, and right. I was like, man, this would have been a really good time to have my belt yeah. because I don't care about my core right now. I'm trying to get my shoulders right. worked on. And I would have had the, uh, the ability to actually get my lift in the way I wanted yeah. to. And side note, there was this young bucks next to me. They're like probably college age and they're being douchebags. Yeah. They're doing like uh what are they called? Uh wow, what am I mean? landmine rows. Yeah. And they have like fifty pounds on there. They're acting like they're tough shit. I'm like, that's no weight. Yeah. Stop acting like you're cool. They had like two plates on there. Yeah. It was it was fifty pounds. That's it. it was two twenty fives. Oh okay. Not was, even <laughs> that's it. Yeah. And I was like and they were like strutting around like they're hot shit. And I wouldn't even have mentioned this, but I'm doing my overhead press. I'm in the middle of it. I'm struggling. I do a what I it's a no thumb grip. I call it a suicide grip because it's a bad idea. And uh, that's how I do it because I feel like it gets the muscle better for me. And he's like sitting there and he's like frustrated with his lift or something and he threw an empty water bottle at the wall I was facing and I almost dropped the weight. And I was so angry what the fuck i was so angry oh my god and i didn't say anything because who cares it's not that big of a deal i just remember now that i was mad that's an on-site for me but i was just it's just shit like that don't do that yeah. don't throw things don't get like visibly emotional in the gym 
You're moving watch. 50 pounds. You're not allowed to be emotional yeah. yet. <laughs> yeah. If you pop your bicep, throw whatever you want with your left arm. Yeah. Because your right one's not doing it. The dude who <laughs> tore his, check, his chest was being more calm and collected. Exactly. I want him to throw things. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's earned the right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the belt should, I think the belt is something that like, it's uh, it's Boy Scout rules. Mm -hmm. Better to have it, not need it. Right. Belt should, belt should stay around. I don't use it every workout, but it's there. It's, I've you know. seen people belt up for bench press. I've seen them do it for pull downs. And at the end of the day, like, if it gets you where you need to go, mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Bear's fair. Don't rely on it, but have it, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Let's see what's next. Next, we got uh, chewing gum and caffeine. Do you chew gum at the gym? I do. I love chewing gum in the gym. It's like an excellent like, it... distraction. Oh, you know what? You're probably right. Because I'm a clencher just by... By birthright, yeah, it's just like I'm constantly like just gnarling my freaking own mouth. Uh, I had to wear like a mouthpiece for a long time while I was sleeping. But have you seen the ads? It's like, oh, get this mouth guard and you'll increase your bench press. You know, it's like all those powerlifters are trying to sell that on their Instagrams. And I guess there's some merit like behind you know squeezing different muscles of your body to create tension. But I I honestly feel like with the gum in my mouth that it I stay more focused and it's like I don't I don't know I just. I stay in the lift. Bed. I have seen some powerlifting guys on YouTube and Instagram that wear mouth guards. Yeah. Um, and it's mostly because they're moving immense amounts of weight. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, if you're a big clencher, like you can clench your teeth so hard, you chip a tooth. Like it's not a joke. Or you get neck cramps. I've done that. Yeah. Clench so hard that you get a neck cramp. Or you can actually pass out. If you're doing <laughs> if you clench too hard, you will choke yourself out, oh, yes. um, which is my favorite thing. I never heard of that. That's scary. I've enough. seen it happen. Yikes. And it is very funny. <laughs> Yeah. The, uh, the don't buy an overpriced mouth. If they're selling the mouth guard for the yeah. same price you would for like, because you can get like a boxing mouth guard for I'll, I'm going to say twenty bucks. I'm probably wrong. Probably something around there. If they're uh, yeah. if if they're charging the same amount for that, buy theirs. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. It's got fangs on it. It's so badass. It yeah. says like like eat babies. Like that's yeah. like so cool. <laughs> uh, like you know, pay the five dollar extra that it costs them to write eat babies on it. But like. It's not something that I would ever think as like a priority at all. I don't think it's mandatory or anything. I well, like not the, for what we do at least. I like the gum idea though because it kind of keeps you something to work on. Yeah, like it's uh, it's that oral fixation that mm -hmm. uh, a lot of young men need in their lives. Uh, Plus, it like your mouth gets dry when you work out. Yeah, true. That yeah. makes so you're not have to drink a lot of water because if you're drinking water, could you fill up the stomach. Fill up the stomach. Yeah. Uh, our boys, we went, we've been going on Tuesday and Thursday runs now. Yeah, hell yeah, and. Uh, he had the most excellent vomit after that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Get it out. Get those demons he was, out. Uh, and, was, and he was like, I think I drank too much water. I'm like, no, you're fine. He's like, and after the fact, he's like, you probably did. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why we hydrate beforehand. If you're yeah. drinking the day of, you're already dehydrated. Yes. Uh, yeah. So gum is not big on my list, but I could see it being a thing. Mm -hmm. I honestly would be somewhat afraid of swallowing it because I'm dumb. Uh, as far as caffeine, are you talking about like having a bang on hand while you're there? Bang, or? a pre-workout, caffeine pills, whatever you, whatever your poison is. Do you feel like caffeine pills actually work? It's been proven that 200 milligrams of caffeine will increase your performance. No, I'm like saying... Oh, that caffeine when I When I drink a cup of coffee in the morning to like get rid of my uh, clear addiction to caffeine that I will not admit to. Yeah. Um, or I have like a bang. I feel like I have caffeine, but every time I take caffeine pills, like maybe it's just uh, psychosomatic, but I mm. feel like it does nothing. I don't know. I haven't messed around with them as much ever since I got out of, you know, active duty. That was the only time I ever messed with those. That makes so much sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but maybe. I've I, heard this, that like synthetic caffeine kind of like, hits quicker but then wears off faster that makes sense where like natural caffeine from tea or coffee hits slower but lasts longer i think that's what i don't I know prefer. if it's true maybe it's bro science maybe it's bro science yeah we're here to just prove that but apparently we don't have an answer on this one yeah. all i know is that bangs mid-workout for me are awful they sit yeah. heavy they're really high in sugar for me yeah like before the workout i'm here for it but during it's just like it throws me off do you get heartburn from bangs Almost. I do. I get a little acid reflux from I drinking. I would bang. say more like a little bit of the acid reflux. I wouldn't yeah. call it full blown. Um, right. Like heartburn, but I'm like kind of getting like gross burps. Yeah. Like I it's trying that. to find its way back up. Like I didn't want to taste this again. I'm already done with the drink. Yeah, that situation. happens. I, uh, I, I, you know what I do like is uh, a lot of gyms next door, at least Independence does at this time. They uh, do the uh, BCAAs mm -hmm. in like a slushy. Oh yeah. The BCA slushy. Those are fun. And it costs like three bucks, two, three bucks. It's like, way more than it would if you just did it at home. Mm -hmm. 
But those are so great to have at the gym. But there's ice in there. <laughs> I love the ice. I love the ice. It's good yeah. ice. It's like the, the ice that you get from a uh, like a Sonic. Like it's a little small yeah. ice. So you're sitting there. You got a cold beverage. It tastes good, and then it has pretend chemicals in it that are going to make you stronger. Yeah. So clearly, it's the choice. The choice. The choice for uh, the athlete on the go. Yes. So yeah, I wouldn't. As far as caffeine goes, I would be careful on that one. As far as for a lot of people. Yeah, know your tolerance. <laughs> no, you're <tolerance>. <laughs> <laughs> Two scoops. Two scoops Two every time. time. All right, let's see. Next, uh, I have quick emergency carbs and for emergency purposes only. Did you ever eat those high chews? Yes, I ate both of them. So most people are gummy bear people. Some people are uh, Sour fruit snack people. Sour Patch feels dangerous. I feel like Sour Patch going, if you're like going with like some Sour Patch watermelons out in the gym, yeah, like you're a madman. <laughs> like you're you're there to hurt somebody my favorite so, some haribo gummy bears that's my favorite yeah gummy bears uh but i recently discovered that i love high chew which mm-hmm. is like uh it's like a japanese candy um it's just you could do anything it's shooter's choice yeah. at that point uh if you need if you're feeling a lag and you're not worried about whatever sugar intake you're doing and you just like want to get through this workout especially if it's like a major muscle group yeah that yeah. That can be a saver. Yeah, if you're crashing on low blood sugar or you're on low fuel, even like 12 grams of carbs, mm-hmm. which is like not very much, you know, is will get you through a lot more than you think. But then this comes full circle to what I was talking about with the bangs. 20 high chews will not make your workout better. No. Don't do <laughs> There's it. There's a limit. <laughs> Don't do it. Yeah. I, I did. And I didn't throw up, but I really wish I had. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What's your next thing? Uh, next, we have some... So those are the mandatories that I have on there for me. Okay. Next, I have some honorable mentions that uh, may or may not benefit you guys. Okay. Uh, so I'll go ahead and start with the first one. Uh, and it's an extra pair of underwear or shorts. Okay. Pause. Uh, yes. <laughs> are you sharding? No. Are you just sweating through your Were you with me chonies? when I tore my shorts doing squats? I would wear that like a badge of honor. <laughs> Bro, I was in the middle of the gym. Remember when Independence had the squat rack in the front by the bench presses in front of the, everybody where it's yes. like center stage yeah, of the it's gym? Yeah, like in the middle is like a very awkward location. Yeah, yeah. And it was like literally there just so people could squat and show, out and show off in front of I'm people. I'm glad that they got rid of that because people would always yeah. be like, oh, I'm going to squat. Like, you want to go over this? I'm like, no. Yeah. I don't want people to, I want to be in a corner. <laughs> I want to be in a corner where only three people can stare, stare at me being a weirdo. Yeah. Not, you know, so you busted your shorts yeah. in the middle of everybody. So I was busting my shorts. At least I was doing like 275 or something semi-respectable, but yeah. it's like, I, I was going down for a squat and obviously I was hitting at least depth, but I, you can hear it and it ripped and my shorts split right down the back. Love that. Mid squat. Love that. Mid set. In the middle of the gym. I hope you were wearing like bright colored underwear that day too. <laughs> no, was, it's like probably great. gray or black or something. Nope, I'm wearing like yeah. bright wet. <laughs> At least red it wasn't underwear. tidy whitey too. Huh? <laughs> and then he's like, and that's the day I realized it was Lulu or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and I switched to Lulu's. <laughs> uh, they stretch. Hey, that's a good reason to have an extra change of clothes because anything can happen. And I personally have had over trusted a fart in the gym before. Yeah. And I wish I had underwear. Yeah. And if you're at the gym long enough, you're either going to rip your pants, yeah. you're going to have some sort of disaster, yeah. or there's going to be some situation where you are at the gym for a long time and maybe you're gross and you need to be there longer. And you know what? It's like a fresh pair of sheets. Yeah. Sometimes laying in a fresh bed is really all you need to get through life. It makes everything better. Especially with something like you who's at the gym all day. Like if you have like client, 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 and it's like, okay, I have lunch. It's like, you know what? I'm not really feeling my steez right now. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, no, let's it, it go and come happens. back out for it, and then we can finish out our day. Yeah, that's a that's a good idea. That's a good. Idea. Any other honorable mentions? Yes, I got lifting shoes. So I feel like, like that was more popular recently. I feel like it's mm-hmm. not as big of a thing anymore. Well, they're coming out with all these like lifestyle shoes that are now lifting shoes too, like Noble yeah. and the Metcons. Mm-hmm. They almost look like you can wear them around, but they're made for like lifting, so they're not as essential, I guess. So they had the the. I feel like the last really popular it was the. Uh, Adidas, Adidas, like Addy Pros. Yeah. There were some Reebok ones. They like came out with some gold ones that were badass. And those were lift shoes. Then they started coming out with, uh, they looked the same but had a normal heel that was slightly bigger. Then the Metcons took over. Mm-hmm. And I'm still not entirely sold on like Nobles. I've never really worn them. Maybe I'd love them if I put them on. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think you're right. I think that the amount of lift you need and the thing about specific squat shoes was because they had a really hard sole and surface. And then mm-hmm. I think people realize like it doesn't need to be hard. It just needs to be 
very flat and stiff. And yeah. Because a lot of people squat with no shoes on. A lot of people yeah. deadlift with no shoes on. And most people will just go out there and deadlift in, you know, whatever shoes as long as it's a flat base. So you, it's kind of getting to the point where the, cause I used to be a two pair of shoes guy when I yeah. went to the gym. It was like, I had like my Converse and then I had my squat shoes so that right. I could be the tool bag who was changing my shoes in the middle of the gym. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, I'm glad you put that in honorable mention because mandatory. if it works for you, great. But I find that recently the only people I see wearing those are either lifting so much that it's dangerous mm-hmm. or they're wearing fingerless gloves. <laughs> those are the two people. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's, that's pretty uh, yeah, so good you, categories. <laughs> you might be the kind of person that needs it and yeah. more power to you. But if you switch from your toe shoes to your, you know, lift shoes. Yeah. I've already made my judgment on you. <laughs> <laughs> right. That, there's some other things to worry about. <laughs> exactly. exactly. I will never stand by toe shoes. You can't make me do it. <laughs> All right. Next, I have bands. That could be like the rubber bands or the booty bands or anything like yeah. that. Uh, just an extra easy piece of equipment. Cheap and, you know, doesn't take up a bunch of space. So I think it, it could definitely fit in the gym. Booty bag. bands, I think, are... I don't see a lot of guys using them. I think that they could... More, more power lifters are now and now more That's good now to than hear. before. Yeah. You know why it is? It's because uh why am I forgetting his name? It's uh C Bum's Instagram ha- handle, Chris Bumstead. Mm-hmm. He uses bands all the time. Oh, so if he does it, yeah. Mr. Every- Olympia did it. Dude, he Mr. Is, Olympia. He's currently <laughs> a huge TikTok trend. There's a very like great video of him where he like takes his hoodie off and he's just like, oh, oh like, I've seen that one. And yeah. everyone's just like what it feels like when I take or yeah. what what I think I look like when I take my hoodie off. And I'm like, Ugh. And then it has him. And it's and like it's, some fat dude struggling to get yeah. his hoodie. <laughs> well, like... most of them aren't funny. Like, because that's what I would love. It's like, yeah. so a picture like me like, Ugh, and then like, it's always like the, the in-between competitive to like not in shape people. And they're like, yeah, like turned up their, uh, their grain as high as it can go for like their yeah. one vein. And then it shows him, which I mean, more power to you, whatever it was. But yeah, he is like, he, he can do no wrong right yeah. now. He can do no wrong in the uh, social media space. And he's been using bands, so I've been seeing them pop up more, especially on social media. That makes sense why I'm seeing it more. Girls have been ahead of us on this one for a long Mm -hmm. time. And I think that it's good that guys are... Because I've used them with you before, Mm -hmm. and I hate them. They hurt. They ruin my (laughs) life. They they burn. (laughs) Yeah. They're... they're, Are there redeeming qualities? Yes, there are. For, yeah. In my mind, they're zero. They, say they hurt. <laughs> if you're all about the glute activation, get you some bands. Get you some bands. <laughs> yeah. And then my last one, which now that I'm thinking about this, maybe this should have been on the uh, mandatory list, uh, deodorant. <laughs> that should have been on the mandatory one. <laughs> that yeah. is a very good point you've made. Yeah. Because there are people that stink. And you may be one of those people. Yeah. And if you, I if you don't smell anyone else stinking in the gym, it's probably you. I empathize with you yeah. and I feel for you. But when you stink, I don't like you very much and mm-hmm. I don't want to be around you. And this is coming from someone who I, I've done this with like many people. It's like, I need you to smell my armpits. I'm pretty sure <laughs> that I don't produce odor. Yeah. And only recently I've started to like stink. I think my body's finally de- betraying me. My body is only recently betraying me that I'm starting to get armpits up. You know what I embar- You know what I feel about that? What? Strong amount of embarrassment, and I put on deodorant all the time now because I don't want to be stinky boy. Everyone remembers that kid in gym class, the kid yeah. that like wouldn't shower or whatever, and he stunk all day. It's like we yeah. we're adults now; we don't need to be that way. And I think it's everyone's. Benefit. I'm pretty sure that's not you. So you're, you're good. You're not the. Oh no, it doesn't matter. Kid. I will never be that kid. Yeah. Because I am deeply afraid of being the stinky kid. Well, then you never will be. Because I don't want to say anything to him either. Because yeah. if I meet someone who stinks, it just means that we probably won't be friends moving forward. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not going to say I will not call you out on it because I am not a monster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like, yeah, that guy, uh, Steve, well, Steve's a nice guy. Like, have you ever hung out with Steve? It's like, no, I haven't. I don't know why. We've just never connected. Yeah, just, uh, you know, busy. Stinks. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. No, deodorant should be, if you, you know, if you know, but yeah. if you don't know, then ask somebody. Get on it. If you have friends, just put your armpit in their face and then yeah. ask them afterwards. Yes, that's a good friend will tell you. If you if you preload and say, I need you to smell my armpits. Unless it's Dimitri, he won't tell you. He just won't hang out. <laughs> I won't yeah. tell you. I'll tell you, if, unless you preface it. If you come to me and say, do I stink? <laughs> I will tell you it's the same thing. Like if a friend tells me like, am I fat? Do I stink? If you ask, you're going to get the answer. Yeah. But I will not tell you unprompted. It is impossible. Fair enough. And I do not have that bone in my body. <laughs> And with that all said, so you have a very well put together bag. Yes, thank you. It is you're you're prepared for most situations. You could poo poo your pants. Mm-hmm. You could get tired. You could uh, end no up fuel. You could be having a week back. You're ready mm-hmm. for all of these things. Yes. 
And then you have what I call the 99%. Mm -hmm. And that 99% is me. And there's a really great uh, to Twitter post out there where it's like, guys really be going out into the world with no water bottle, no chapstick, mm -hmm. no uh, no deodorant, no purse, just ready to go into the world like psychopaths. And that's how I am at the gym. Yeah, I walk into the gym with my water bottle if I haven't forgotten it. Yes. Out of 60% chance that I forgot it. And if it's in the car, I'm not going back for it. Um, <laughs> I go in there with my keys, I hang it, that's gone. Yep. I go in there with my phone, somehow always have that. And then uh, I've been really bad on my, my AirPods recently. So oh, most headphones. Time. That's the headphones. other one. There you go. How is that not on the mandatory list? Headphones. It is. It okay. Is. I have headphones. Definitely. That's, that's, that should be thing. spot number one, honestly, is headphones. Don't you agree? <laughs> I, I have worked out recently with no headphones. I had a leg day. Yeah. And I was really disappointed in everyone around me. Because of the gym music? It wasn't even the music. It's just the clientele. They, I had... <sighs> I had white guys saying words they shouldn't be saying okay. while they were excited. I had other people who were giving really bad gym advice. <laughs> I had you just want to like people oh, having no. conversations where I'm just like, I, you guys are really dumb, and I have the answer, but I will not interject in this. I don't want to be a part of this discussion. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, man, these have always been happening around me. And I've always had music. What about when like they're putting like Sweet Caroline in the gym? It's like, oh, why are they? It wasn't one of those days. It was thankfully not. Yeah, the, uh, there's someone at our gym who sometimes they get a hold of the aux cord, and it is really, really weird. Yeah, it's like this is not. It's not country gym music. music. It's like top 100. It's like John Denver or it's something like, like that. The Lumineers. Oh yeah. I don't know. Oh, it's that one too. Yeah, like soft Mumford alt, and Sons. Alt rock. Yeah. It's just like all things that like I if it came on at a bar or at a gym, I'm just like yeah. I really didn't think that this was a good idea. Like give me like even like Maroon Five right now. Yeah. <laughs> that would be better than what's going on right now. But no, it was a uh, it there was it was not a sad Drake day, but it was close to that. Okay. It was close to a sad Drake day, which I'm, I can tolerate. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I go into the gym completely unprepared for life. And if something goes wrong, I just leave. So, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, for those of you. That's going to be the clip. <laughs> <laughs> I <love> so, uh, <laughs> you should, if you can, bring a bag and you should be prepared for things. But I will tell you right now, you don't need to. And here's, I'm going to tell you one of the biggest things I learned from the military you don't need to drink water in the middle of your run. Right. I would do that every single time we'd be, I'm sitting there, I'm cardio Dimitri. We're getting in line, mm -hmm. getting ready to go. And I'd have people with water bottles, I'm just like smacking them out of their hands. Like put it down, put it down. Like, well, I might get thirsty. It's like, then you're screwed. It's like, it's too late now, bro. <laughs> you're going to die. Yeah. <laughs> like that's, that water is not your solution. Same thing with, that's a good point. if you need to carb up in the middle of your workout, that's a little bit different. You can do that. But you screwed up somewhere along the line. Yeah, that's like an emergency. Like, you already fucked up, and now it's yeah, time to fix the thing, it. The day's already gone yeah. south. What Wes has is, like, a bug-out bag for working out. Yeah. What I that's have put it. is the mm -hmm. way to expose myself to my <laughs> own failures. <laughs> Here's my weakness. I nice know thing. what <laughs> I have done wrong every time I go to the gym because I give myself no bumpers. I go into the bowling alley, I throw that ball down the lane, and I know exactly where it goes wrong. Yeah. So, but I would say that things like the, you bring your headphones. Yeah. I swear to God, you don't want to hear the people around you. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was a really bad day for me. <laughs> the, you bring that belt. I keep mine in my car usually. It's super sun bleached now. It just sits in my back seat. Mm -hmm. But if you need it, it's there. Uh, things like straps, I am on the side of it. You really, you're only going to need to choke like three coyotes. It's no mm -hmm. more than that. If your grip strength goes out before that, just run. Um, the uh, Most of the things you don't need. But if you're someone who wants to always succeed and you mm -hmm. are on a timeline and you want to make sure that you always get the best of your workout, having that bag is going to be what ensures mm -hmm. you're ready to party every single time. Should I just show them my gym bag? Right Do you here. have it with you? It's right here. Grab the gym it's right here. Your mic. It's, it's, we are just killing it right now. Yeah, both phones fell at the same time. <laughs> oh, yeah. So here's my bag. It's all I, I got a fancy one. I didn't know you got a new bag. Because, you know. Uh, here's your mic. I'll hold it for you. You're good. Oh, I got a fancy one because, you know, 
I'm in the gym a lot. Oh, you know, just uh, <laughs> just showing up. It's like a duffel gym bag. Um, oh, computer. That doesn't, yeah, you don't know. Yeah, you need that for the gym so you can yeah. uh, do your your so metrics. My clients' programs. So let's see what we got here. We got a nice belt. This is my lifting belt. Okay. Got my straps. Camouflage. Very emoto. You can't see them, so they don't exist. I'm yeah, not wearing exactly. straps. No one can see them. Yeah. I didn't know. Oh, yeah. I got a gym towel right here. Yeah, five star. Five star there gym towel. So you can wipe off all of the strenuation. Deodorant. Deodorant. Yes, got that. Yeah, there you uh, go. And then, oh, it looks like that's a battery. I don't know. That's bad. Do you have one knee sleeve? I have one knee sleeve because the other one's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> no the headphones, headphones are actually right here. I got the headphones. Right, Shaw? There we go. And then gum. Gum. I ate my carbs already, so sorry. That's all gone. <laughs> my gum. You know what? And there you oh, go. Oh, one more thing. Oh. Ibuprofen. Ibuprofen. Yes. There you go. Yeah, that's uh, my gym bag right there. There you go. Actually, that's a good one. That should be uh, that should be an honorable mention as well. If you're slowly getting up in age, yeah, if your body's failing you, or if you just have a girlfriend, you know, just carry ibuprofen around. <laughs> because, you know, hair ties, yeah. ibuprofen. It's not for you. Yeah. You're just a good person. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, I have a headache. Well, I got some. Well, I got I got a solution. <laughs> well, I think that's all we got for today. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that the gym bag is highly underutilized by people like me. Um, I will continue to fail myself. I'm almost certain. But if you decide that you actually want to succeed in life, maybe get yourself a nice bag uh, and fill it with lots of fun things so that you can be successful. Oh, yeah. As always, like, subscribe, uh, set the alerts, ding, ding. And uh, you can still find us on the podcast as always. So mm -hmm. thanks for joining us, guys. We will talk to you next time. Yes.